Hello everyone and welcome to a new renovation vlog. Exciting times in the house here. As we speak, the kitchen is being installed downstairs and we are also finally making progress in the bedroom. This weekend we finally got around to painting the ceiling, which is something that had been stalling all progress in that room, but it was just too hot in the heat wave this summer to do it, but we did it. So let me show you. The ceiling is now dark green. <laughs> And I absolutely love it. There it is next to the wall color. And there it is next to the wallpaper, which we're also going to finish soon. Now that we have finally painted the ceiling. I know painting the ceiling dark is a decision that many people might question, but we don't mind that it might make the room look smaller. I mean, it's the bedroom, it's only for sleeping in, um, and it looks really nice and cozy. And we actually, we've chosen to make the room dark and then keep the window treatments light so that, you know, we can wake up with the sun it's still nice and cozy and dark at night. We are very, very happy with this decision. I think it's gonna look great once the room is finished. So I am now just preparing to paint this wall, that same shade of wall green, <laughs> which is a slightly lighter, slightly cooler shade. So I'm just gonna do that. And when that is painted, we can finally finish the wallpaper here and then move the bed to its final position, move the wardrobes, build the last wardrobe, because we do have one extra wardrobe gonna go in between those two we have one that is like half width half the width of these two and that one's gonna go in the center we were also finally able to buy the doors that we wanted to go on these and we got nice dark wooden doors and we have bought the nice stands so we can also build those they're also dark wood i'm so glad that we're finally making progress in here because i am so done with looking at this horrible <laughs> blotchy pink wall it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. So I'm just gonna get to work, paint this green as well. We are about to have a kitchen. <gasps> Look! Oh, so much progress. Oh, I love this countertop. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Two more days of building and then it should be done. Dishwasher's going in here. This will be oven right here. And the fridge and freezer are going in there. This will be the cooking area. And then here we're gonna have the sink. I am really, really, really excited. The kitchen is done. Are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so please don't mind the mess. Um, and by mess, I mean our lack of ceiling or a normal wall or just, you know, a normal house, but the kitchen. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe it. This is for real my dream kitchen and look look what it does i have this little button here look what it does <gasps> i love it i love it 
so much. This kitchen is in a rather dark corner of our house. It is wedged in between the, the little bathroom downstairs is right behind there. And then over here we have our utility room on the other side. So it is sandwiched between, you know, three close off walls, but there is so much light in here now with these light fixtures and they are all smart light bulbs so we can set them to you know programs you can alter the brightness of them or make them super bright and it is just oh, makes it look so good and so cozy and i i oh i can't deal with the backsplash yeah we are still trying to get a hold of the contractor um to hopefully you know set a date for them to fix this or actually honestly at this point to find out if they're still willing to do it because we did already install a kitchen and they'll have to work around it and if they're not willing to do that we'll have to find someone else who will do it for us or potentially do it ourselves but i really prefer not to because you know structural stuff like that we would like to um have someone do who actually knows what they're doing but the kitchen itself is my absolute dream kitchen and i just i am so excited Two days ago when the installer went home, I um, had a little peek in here and I was just literally jumping with joy because I am so excited. This is everything. It is everything I ever wanted. I have my white glass cabinets and oh, they are so gorgeous. I am so glad we didn't go with grey. Okay, let me give you a little tour, I guess, of the um, halfway finished kitchen. <laughs> Starting right here, this is where you would enter the house from the backyard. We have two high cabinets. They are very high. I'm gonna need my step stool. Good thing we already bought one. Um, but here we have firstly the fridge, which we haven't filled yet because uh, we'd like to clean it first. Just the breakfast stuff is here already. And then below here is the freezer. This is my first ever proper freezer. I've only ever had really, really small freezers and I'm really excited to have this. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be able to store so much food. So next to that is our oven and this is also a microwave. We had one of these in our last home in our rental in Amsterdam and we loved it so much. Um, so we got one from the same brand, which is actually in the world of kitchens an affordable brand So yeah, we are very very happy with this. I love having a combined oven and microwave I know some people really don't like these but we have had only great experiences with ours in the last time So we wanted to get another one of those. So above there is a cabinet that we can use and underneath here are drawers i wanted to get as many drawers as possible so that's what we did cutlery drawer <laughs> so obviously we still need to organize everything and like get into a <clears throat> routine with this kitchen and find out what works for us we also need to go and buy organizers for all the drawers and everything so there's another drawer down there and then next to that is our countertop and Robert actually picked out these countertops. I was gonna go for a lighter wood, but looking at it now, I'm very glad we went with the dark because I think the light wood might not have looked great with our marble flooring. And this is different enough that it won't clash with the color of the floor, so I actually really like this. And I love the kind of herringbone um, texture of it. It looks really, really nice. So yeah, we need to get, <laughs> obviously, the electrical plugs put back in. But this is our induction cooking top. I've never used induction before, so that's gonna be a journey, learn how to use this. We're probably gonna have to buy new pots and pans that work with this and that haven't been used on gas before because apparently you can't use pots and pans that have been used on gas on induction. Above that, here is a tiny cabinet. Put my vitamins down there. And here we have a built-in hood with some more storage space as well and this is actually really nice it has a little button here Boop. turns on the light and then you just twist that to uh to turn on the fan it's quite strong <laughs> so beneath here more drawers so this is quite a deep drawer with again a double drawer on top i'm gonna need more drawer dividers to go in here and then beneath that another deep drawer it's gonna be perfect for all our pantry storage oh did i show you this one this is my favorite slide out drawers <laughs> i absolutely love these it's gonna save so much space and be fantastic for storage so then obviously up top here we have all of the glass ones 
that I'm gonna have to organize really nicely. We'll have to figure that out. There's just some stuff that already made its way here. Here's the dishwasher, um, which we love. And something did actually go wrong with the dishwasher. We're not sure what happened, but someone's gonna come and take a look at it. It's supposed, the door is supposed to kind of slide out when you pull down the dishwasher, but it doesn't really do that. <laughs> but yeah, we do have a dishwasher, which is supposedly fantastic. So I'm very, very happy with that. And we haven't turned it on yet, but I think it's supposed to project the amount of time that is still remaining in the cleaning program onto the floor, which is so cool. Oh, speaking of the floor, yeah. So the previous kitchen, I do believe I mentioned this, but the previous kitchen had a kind of rounded off corner, or I guess, yeah, the, the corner was connected like that. It was straight across. Um, so <laughs> we don't have, we have a bit of missing tile here with a bit of rubble inside. So we're gonna have to clean that out and then somehow fill that. So we're gonna have to look for a tile that is similar to this marble. We don't have any extra of these. So yeah, well, we'll we're gonna have to fix that. But while we're here, we have a corner cabinet with a Lazy Susan turntable type thing inside and oh, you can't even hear it at all. It's so smooth. And I love that it comes with the protective lining already in place. So I don't have to cut this awkward shape <laughs> out myself. But yeah, this is where I'm gonna store all the pots and pans. It is very spacious, a great use of this um, space that would otherwise have been wasted. So that's the corner cabinets. And then our sink. We have this lovely kind of farmhouse style sink, which I absolutely adore. It is gigantic. Here's hand for size. It is so big. This is the largest sink by far that I've ever had. And it's gonna be fantastic. Comes with more drawers underneath again, where I can store all of our cleaning supplies and things like that. But we're considering using this one for recycling. So we're gonna have two recycling bins in there for like um, paper and glass. And then in the corner here, we have another one of these. And here we're probably also gonna store some cleaning supplies and then like dishcloths and things like that. So that is it, that is our kitchen. And I cannot wait to start organizing this. And I think that's actually what I'm gonna do today. So let's get to it. trying to get this thing organized but it's kind of difficult because I'm trying to style that credenza at the same time because it's also you know obviously kitchen related open storage um, and we have a lot of open storage not too much but a lot I will do it It'll, it's gonna look great and I love the look of it so it's worth it but I do need to get everything we have into this kitchen so <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of you know shuffling around puzzle solving but so far we're doing really really good this is the designated loose leaf tea cabinet so i have my chinese uh, tea set up there and then my loose leaf tea jars which i'm sure you're all very familiar with 
stacked all the way to the back there. So those are in there. Here we have our glasses, drinking glasses, and our plates, and then bowls, and more bowls. I'm trying to keep this one really minimal, because it's the one that is most visible, you know, from the room here. That's like the central focal point, so I want to keep that one nice and quiet. So next to that, uh, this is what I'm struggling with a little. I'm not sure how much weight these glass shells can hold. I'm a little bit nervous about that. So I'm trying not to stack too many dishes on top of them and stuff like that. So up there <laughs> is just our one lonely salad bowl. Um, here I'm planning to put like serving dishes. So for now it's just this. There, there's gonna be more, but I'm you know, still working on this. I have this, again, turntable, Lazy Susan type thing with some food storage. I'm gonna fill that up. Um, and then here I have this thing which I recently bought and then my mortar and pestle. Here <laughs> is my um, Blonde Amsterdam Efteling collection of dishes. So we have the bowls, the glasses, the large plates and the dessert plates. So all of those are up here. Um, they are on display. I was considering not having them on display because they are quite colorful but I just I love them so much. They are my favorites and they are dishes that I do use every single day so yeah I did decide to put them here and I think they look quite all right like this um, if the shelf is not overstuffed and this is a shelf that isn't visible from you know from over there so I think I can get away with it. Upper two are still empty there is room to grow there and then yeah these are still all empty. This drawer is where the pans ended up for now I'm not sure I like this might move that around still and then the upper one is a spice cabinet for now. This is gonna have some cooking utensils, but I do want to get another one of these drawer dividers, the cutlery drawer things, because um, um, one of those will fit next to that one perfectly. Um, and then I can organize all of this a little bit better. But basically what I want to do is to have all of the eating utensils here and all the cooking utensils over there and then whatever space is left just fill that up with spices so that all of that is um yeah nicely organized in there we're gonna need lots more storage solutions like little baskets and bins and things like that to organize all of this but we don't have those yet so i'm gonna have to go out and buy those soon so underneath this drawer we have kind of like you know breakfast foods <laughs> for now and tea overflow that is less aesthetically pleasing so it needs to be hidden away in a drawer and then some of the coffee making stuff that's what i have so far oh and this one the corner cabinet here has all of my pots up top and then Everything that goes with the kitchen machine back there is down here. Again, it's not stored very efficiently this way, but I like that all of the pots have their lids on them so that I don't have to, you know, look for the right lid when I take out a pot. So if I can get away with it, I would like to have it spaced out a little bit more like this. This kitchen is way larger than our previous one, so I, you know, there is a lot more room to space things out a little bit more. I do need to find a place for our fruit bowl to live. These are gonna go on the wall, of course, my tea decorations. And yeah, I'm, I'm still working on it, still working on it. But so far in the credenza, here is my great-grandmother's 1930s tea set. Some more glassware. And yeah, I'm still, uh, again, this needs a lot of work. A lot of work to do still. I love my mugs, but most of the ones that we have are just way too colorful and cluttered looking to be out on these shelves. So they've ended up here <laughs> above the hood. Um, it's a nice place for them. It's big enough. And then up there I have stored all of our single 
oddly specific drink glasses with brand names on for some reason we have a bunch of those that's where they ended up <laughs> quite happy with where this is going so far i plan to put all of my um protein powders down here and kind of like make it like a supplement type shelf it's a lot of work Alright guys, this is where I'm going to end this vlog. It's late, I need to go pick up Robert from work because it's D&D night. So um, obviously there is still a lot more to do. So I will be back next week with another update. I really hope you enjoyed watching guys. Thank you for joining me again. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Bye!